Hello everyone. In this short video, let's see how to make group consolidations. This topic plays a key role when using consolidation software. As you know, there are very diverse types of consolidation groups, depending on the stakeholders. There is a legal view, named legal consolidation structures, which is based on legal criteria, and accurately presents the parent, subsidiary relationships. And an operational view, named operational consolidation structures, which can be used for segment reporting by division or region-based reporting. Also, it is possible to present a large number of different types of subsidiary groups. In many consolidation solutions, the presentation of these groups is made similarly. There are usually two ways to create consolidated groups, manually or automatically. Let me show you how the process can be automated in Talentia CPM solution. After the companies have been incorporated, the register of securities and shareholdings is maintained. This register is crucial. There are basically two types of information to be filled in. On the one hand, I have the number of shares per company, the nominal value of my shares, and the calculated nominal share capital, which is always stored on the timeline. Here is current today. The data was submitted at the end of December 2019. In the second tab, I then create the link between our subsidiaries. There are two views. In the first view, I select a parent company and see here that it owns 100 shares in company number 8, which results in a share of 10%. In the second view, I select the subsidiary. When I select company number 8, I see again that this company has two parent companies. On the one hand, the one we saw earlier with a 10% share. On the other hand, the second parent company with a direct share of 80%. If it is maintained, then this legal organizational structure will be created automatically. Let's take a quick look at it. It's a helpful representation of my consolidation structure. If we look at it a little bit closer, we see here our example of company number 8, which is directly 10% owned by company number 1, and 80% owned by company number 5, which in turn is 80% owned by company number 1. However, this is not yet the consolidation group itself, but this is simply the legal representation of my social relations with the other companies. Before the consolidation group itself is created, I define the consolidation groups in general. There are many possibilities. In this example, I have a flat consolidation group, which is automatically created according to the previous definitions. Among certain other information, I define that, my company 1 is the parent company of this group. With all this information, the consolidation group is now created automatically. I can select the flat structure here, and then I have three areas. At the top, I see the different events, which are all bound to a certain date. So I see the individual transactions distributed over the timeline. For each event, I can then view the corresponding transaction in the second area. Here I can see if companies were bought or sold, or if shares were sold or acquired, including a possible change in the consolidation methodology. In the lowest area, I see the most important presentation, the actual consolidation group. Here I see, for example, that this consolidation group has a 74% share in company number 8. You may recall that the group owns 80% of company 5, which in turn, owns 80% of company 8. This gives a calculated share of 64%, to which, the 10% shares held directly by company 1 are then added. The shares held directly by the parent companies are 90%, specifically 80% by parent 5, plus 10% by parent 1. All this is highly important information for the proper minority elimination. And that was a quick example of how to automatically create consolidation groups with Talentia CPM. I hope you had fun, and I'm looking forward to you watching the next video.